What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we gotta talk about this. Obviously, last night, CM Punk Seth Rollins promo interaction was just a masterclass, and I am looking forward to seeing where they take this feud because Seth Rollins was in rare form. He wasn't laughing. He wasn't joking around. Wasn't dancing. He was dead serious, and that is the best version of Seth Rollins when he's serious. I love it every time he gets into that mode. We saw him do that with Matt Riddle. We need more of that. And CM Punk, he said a lot without actually saying much. And I love what they got going on there. That promo segment was legit chef's kiss great. If you haven't seen it, Go check it out. I already talked about it um, after it happened. But apparently, there's been some news that it came out recently on how this whole segment came about. Let me show y'all this real quick. So, this is on Twitter by Russell Ops. Seth Rollins and CM Punk's promo segment from last night's WWE Raw did not have a producer listed from Fightful Select. Now, that's very interesting and very telling. If there was no producer for this segment, that means they just let them go out there and say, do what you do just as long as you follow, you know, the regular promo guidelines and don't go overboard. You're good. Just do what you do. This is great. This is perfect. This gives me a little bit more confidence, even more than I already had on we're about to see something potentially very special here they are letting these guys go out there and just cook on their own there was no script here needed which it makes sense this didn't feel scripted this felt real this felt like there was some realism and there's some truth to what was being said by seth rollins seth rollins he made it very very clear i hate you he said that verbatim I hate you. I don't like you. I think there's some truth to that. This was great. CM Punk's response, you get one time only to talk to me disrespectfully. And then the next time, I'm coming after you. Like, this felt real. This felt authentic. And I, I love every second of this segment. Because it lets me know if the rumors are true and they didn't have, did not have no producers for this. It lets me know that okay they they trust these guys to go out there and deliver some some great promos to really enhance this feud they can start cooking that makes it that much better when you give the wrestlers that opportunity to come up with something something great they can start cooking and part of me believes i don't even think they probably even discussed this in the back maybe they did before they went out there Maybe they discussed some bullet points, but parts of, part of me believe they probably didn't talk that much about what was being said. And it's been known that wrestlers would do that. Like, they wouldn't really say too much. They would, all right, cool. You know, obviously, you know, depending on the feud and the situation, they may discuss some stuff. But for the most part, it's like, all right, cool. They they literally, a lot of times, they would hear the, the person telling, you know, delivering their promo for the first time. It wasn't like, no, rehearsing. It was just like, Go out there, do what you got to do, and I'm going to respond how I need to respond, you know? And maybe they have some bullet points from a producer. Both of them would, but sometimes, like, the top stars, they didn't really have to do that. They just kind of went out there, I bet. I'll see you out there. So, there could be a situation where Seth and CM Punk didn't talk to each other much. Seth was going to say what he was going to say. I'm sure CM Punk's, all right, go ahead, do what you got to do, you know, and go from there. And this is what this is what we may have gotten. So that could be a situation too, where they literally didn't say nothing to each other, not really anything noticeable, and go out there and gave us something fantastic to sink our teeth into. Either way, this is how you do it. No micromanaging this feud. Let it play out. Let these guys just be themselves. When you do that, you get some of the best storylines, the best feuds the best situations because it seems real it doesn't come forced it doesn't come off force it doesn't come off fake these guys are just 
addressing how they feel and we know how seth has felt about cm punk for a very long time and this was great if anything this i feel like personally has elevated seth to potentially a new level because seth in my opinion his title reign hasn't been bad but it hasn't been i guess you can say like something where i would be like oh yeah that was a a fantastic title reign like super memorable this had some good moments but i do feel like it's kind of waned because i i think part part of that is because of his character his character i'm not always the biggest fan of of the dancing and the flamboyant outfits and stuff like that you know i i feel like it kind of takes away from his feuds because it doesn't he doesn't come off as serious but this right here this moment right here and ever since cm punk has came back you sense that that tension with seth you sense that that irrit like he's irritated he's annoyed that someone that left wwe has audacity to say they're back home like someone that's taking shots at him you know outside of wwe is now he's back and we're supposed to be all happy i like that like he's he's irritated and he's here to prove why he is the best in the world because he has that world heavyweight championship so we may see a different side of him and i hope we do i hope this view elevates him even more to more of a serious seth rollins so like all right i'm not about to be dancing around all the time and playing games and doing my weird little voice that i do now ah, all that nah i'm here to let people know especially those that have come back to claim to be best in the world i really am best in the world because this championship said so not the singing not the dancing not the woes none of that i'm best in the world because i'm best on this microphone i'm best in the ring and i prove it every single time so this feud in my opinion could be the feud that definitely makes his title reign that much more memorable in the grand scheme of things i don't know we will see but right now it started off great and it's good to know that if there was no producers for this segment they are uh, we're we're in for a treat going forward if if they started off like this oh this we we just started cooking this is going to be great for us so comment down below let me know do you guys feel like they should allow more segments with other wrestlers and other views to kind of be given more i guess you could say to the wrestler's decision on how to make the feud better or make the promo segment better do you feel like the wrestlers can, should have a little bit more control over what they say in the ring and i'm talking about those that can handle it comfortably i'm not talking about the ones that are new and and trying to get their voice i'm talking about the ones that you feel like you know they can actually talk on the microphone and build up a match should it be more of situations like the producers kind of step back let the wrestlers come up with something let me know how y'all feel about that uh down below but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and i'm still here on the speed of youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all keeping with me see you on the next one peace